All right. Hey there. So I heard this so many times in the last week. I feel like I have a life. I feel like I have so many things to do. I feel like this, this, and this is going on in my life. Yet I don't have the energy to live my life. I don't have the energy or the, um, you know, stability or stamina to really live the life that I want to live. I feel like I'm holding back. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. And sometimes it's little things, but sometimes it's big things, right? So I have a life. I'm not living it. What is wrong with me? I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. And I really specialize in helping women identify what their hormones are doing by doing specific Dutch testing for your hormones and really figuring out the right path to get not only your health back, your body back, but your life back and really be able to have all the energy you need to participate. So some of the things like if you feel like you're not living life, these are some of the top things that I've heard just in the past week of gals struggling with because they are having problems, right? The first one is I'm going to put down hormone imbalance. And it is shocking to hear how many gals have, oh, how can hormone imbalance be a problem? This would be, I heard this a, a handful of times in the last week going over Dutch reports that gals will have such a heavy day one of their cycle, can't leave the house can't have to cancel their day. If they're in school, they don't go to school. If they go to work, they don't go to work and they work from home. It's that bad, that heavy, that painful, like everything comes out. They're like, yeah, I push out, you know, tampons and I have to change my pad every 30 minutes all day, all this stuff. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that is something that you can't leave the house. You're missing out on your life. You're missing out on work. You're missing out on activities and friends and things like that, all because your hormones are so off that every month you go through this. Yeah. Yeah. And again, if this is you, right, if you've had this happen before, you are not alone. You are not alone. And if you want to, you know, post a comment or a question below this video, I do check the comments. So make sure that you put a comment there if you're like, oh my gosh, this is me. I've had this happen before. This is terrible just so other gals can really see that, yeah, you're not alone when this stuff happens. Yeah. Um, another one is stress and cortisol levels cause fatigue. Bad fatigue that you will not participate in things. You won't go out with friends. You won't um, do activities with your kids. Um, I've heard this recently. Just the other day, there was a gal who was like, I get so exhausted just from getting through the day that by the time the end of the day comes, I don't want to do anything fun. Or I can push through the week to get all the stuff done at work and, and be all and do all and etc. But by the time the weekend comes, I literally lay around because I have to replenish my energy to get through the next week. So my husband ends up doing a bunch of fun stuff with the kids that I don't do. I stay home. They go to the movies. They go skiing. They go out to, you know, do different activities and they all love it, but I'm missing out on that time with my family because I have to recover. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it to work on Monday. That's, that sucks. That sucks. And if this is you, if you've had this happen, again, I want to know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. You're like, yes, I've been this tired before where I feel like I have to recover all weekend. And then I'm going to, there is a link here in the comments as well to get on the wait list for the next female hormone solution program i'm doing a free master class next tuesday at 7 30. it's totally free all you got to do to be notified of it is be on this wait list and we will talk about hormone testing specifics why it's important what to look for and um, i answer your questions any questions that you have live in that master class so if you want to know more about these hormones specifically that's the, that's the place to get the info. The last thing I'm going to cover here is having uh, a combo of, I'm going to just say like adrenal and hormone issues that cause mood swings. Mood swings. And these mood swings are something that it's like, not even you. 
It's not even you. It's like something shifts, something flips in your body and all of a sudden you're like, Whoa! oh my gosh, you snap at people, you bark at people and you get really angry, really angry. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Like, and then feel bad later. There are some gals who wonder if they have PMDD. It's uh, like PMS, but way worse. And there are sometimes I'll go through hormone testing and we'll talk about PMDD issues because of the hormone shift that we'll see. But this is a big, big piece here, this mood swings. It impacts how you interact with people in your life, relationships that you have, um, and how comfortable you feel just moving through your day. And I have had gals, again, this is in the past week, say to me, I don't really go out anymore because I have no patience. I have no patience with anybody. I'm so moody, I don't want to snap at somebody. It's embarrassing. I don't, um, I don't, you know, say goodnight to my kids the same way anymore. I don't do those things. We used to hang out and read books and things together. And now I don't do that because I'm so tired and I get so triggered easily that I just go to bed after dinner and I avoid my family. That sucks. The thing about all this stuff is that you're missing out on your life because your body is going through a hormonal shift that you can't control. You're not in the driver's seat. It's like all of a sudden you get shoved out of the driver's seat. You're in the back seat and your hormones are at the wheel. Whoa! Taking it for a joyride. And then you're like, I don't, whoa. And then at some point hormones are like, okay, I'm done. There you go. You can get back in the driver's seat again. When we go through hormone testing, when you get the right protocols, when you understand what's going on, you get to be in the driver's seat and you stay there. No more getting kicked out of the driver's seat. No more wondering if what you're doing is the right thing for you. You see and feel these shifts and changes internally and you notice it externally. I have heard from gals um, that go through the female hormone solution program. They say like their husband is um, mentions things to them like, oh, you seem to be more even tempered. You're not snapping or their marriage improves because their mood improves. That their kids say things to them, mom, wow, you, you don't get as angry about things. Oh, I had somebody tell me that the other day and she was like, yeah, my daughter is very blunt. She would not make that up. So it's gotta be true. It's, my mood has to be really changing. I thought it was changing, but she really confirmed it because there's no way my teenage daughter would tell me that I'm a much more pleasant person to be around <laughs> if it wasn't true, right? So it makes a big difference in your life and the lives of those that are around you. I've had gals that because they have been so fatigued and they just try and get through the week that they don't take on ex extra tasks at work. Or I know gals that have turned down promotions because they're like, I can barely keep going with what I'm doing. I can't even fathom adding on another training or getting trained in at this other thing. I can't, I can't even fathom it. I can't do it. No, 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 no. But when you have the energy, when you have the mental capacity, when that brain fog clears up and everything else, it's incredible what you can accomplish moving forward. That's what I love, love, love to see. So that's what we do. And again, to know exactly what to step into for you, we have to do hormone testing. We got to see exactly what your system's doing, where there's any gaps, fill those gaps and make sure your body's functioning correctly. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, please let me know if you have any other questions or need any other guidance. Again, my resources for you are my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Um, great uh, resources because there's lots of info on how to eat for your hormones and your cycle, which is what I walk you through in the Female Hormone Solution program. I also have um, my podcast, The Female Health Solution, where you can subscribe. And then my YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. Subscribe, like, and share this video if it sounds like somebody you know. If you're like, oh my gosh, I was just talking to so-and-so, share this with them. Women need to know that they're not alone and you're not crazy for thinking or feeling this way. This is a real thing. And then other resources I have for you, I have my tinctures. Um, these are for estrogen and progesterone, estero balance uh, to help balance and create the right amount of est estrogens in your body, progesterone to help create and balance the right amount of progesterone in your body. And then my adrenal balance, this is to help your adrenals, your cortisol levels, stress response, everything else. 
This is special. These are specifically formulated. I formulated these specifically for the female body to function at its best all the time. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you need anything else. I am here and make sure you leave me a comment if you're like, yes, this is totally me. Um, or if you have any other questions, message me directly if you're not comfortable commenting. Have a great night and I will see you later.